everyone through here welcome to today's presentation so this is going to be a really fascinating presentation as we're going to look at some really critical definitions that a lot of people might not be very aware of and that is a uri a url and the urn what exactly is this and what are the differences so we're going to look at definitions we're going to walk through some examples and of course end with some conclusions that will help us understand what exactly this means so that if we're browsing the internet we are no longer confused if we're working with a url a uri a urn or something else that said let's look at the definitions a uri simply stands for a uniform resource identifier so that's what a uri is now it identifies a resource uh, either by the location or by the name wherever that resource is so is, you can imagine somebody that has uh, an address and it stays somewhere you can either identify the person by their name or you can ad identify them by their address so a uri simply identifies a resource now a url is a subset of the uri so a url is a subset of the uri and it specifies the location uh, where that resource is available on the web and the method to access that so uh, it, it could be an http access it could be ftp access or an smb access all right so the url specifies the location not just the resource the location now if we specify the location with a url what then is a urn we can probably summarize from that the urn is the resource name all right so here we have the resource location which is a url and this is a very common one a lot of people are familiar with but the urn is the name of that resource so if we look at this uh, of course a resource is something we're trying to access right that, that could really be anything an image a web page a website that could just be a resource we're trying to access now let's put this together with an image all right so if we have a uri which is a universal uh, or uniform or resource identifier a url is a subset of that and a urn is a subset of that all right so uh, usually on the web which a lot of people are familiar with you wouldn't access something by the urn because it's just a name all right you need the location of that resource plus the name to get access to it and we're going to walk through some examples to see how this all comes together so let's take for example a website all right a typical website that anybody uh, could visit we can actually open this website on the browser now uh, what part of this is a URL, what part of this is the URI, and what part of this is a URN? So the very first thing we're going to see from here is the protocol. So the protocol is basically how, what method are we using to access this resource? It could be HTTP, which a lot of people are very familiar with. If you're working on the web, HTTP is what we use. Or HTTPS, which is basically the secured version of it now the next piece is a urn so remember the universal uh, or the uniform uh, resource name so that's the urn now combined on top of that we have the uri so the uri simply identifies that resource and that will be the entire path all right uh, within that we have a domain and so you might hear of a domain name the domain name to a website or to a, a resource on the on the web is just where this resource is hosted usually that's a website sometimes it starts with www if it's a world wide web so that would be a domain which is a subset of it all right then we have a port so depending on where on the type of protocol and where we're going there is a specific port to this so usually the port is not specified uh, it's inferred by default so 443 is uh, for HTTPS and if you're going to HTTP which is not you know 44 which is not the secured version you uh, basically go into port 80 so you, usually people put websites without specifying the port but the port does exist uh, for people to have access to. Now, the next piece from that is the resource fragment. 
not every website has a fragment but for websites that do have a fragment a resource fragment uh, can be identified and the way you identify the resource fragment is with a hash attack so anything after the hashtag is a resource a fragment now the url like we mentioned is the uh, uniform resource locator so this is the locator which is telling us where this resource or the fragment resides all right so assuming that there wasn't a fragment a fragment usually is not the whole resource uh, in itself but it could be a part of a web page a specific part of that web page or that resource you want to uh, access so that would be uh, your fragment and I'm gonna go through the demonstration here for us to see and then you have a path all right the path usually starts from after the port here I kind of include the path just because the port usually is um, uh, left outside especially uh, if you're just doing HTTP or HTTPS that's by default the port is either 80 or 443 but this is a path to that resource so uh, these are the key things that we have now uh, if you're working with websites especially with uh, a lot of the websites today uh, you might have to specify query strings and these query strings will usually start after the question mark and anything after that is a query string so this tells you to filter the resource on that website uh, to this specific query string so if I bring my website up here uh, let's start with a website I might want to access so assuming I'm trying to go to this website www.really.com uh, this would be the the, uni, the URL all right it just brings me to this domain remember the domain is basically this piece of it in here I don't specify the port but if I wanted to I can specify to say go to port 80 and it still brings me here so there will there wouldn't be any issue so anything after the semicolon but watch this if I try 443 which is a secure port now it's rejected because uh, on this website uh, the secured port is not allowed but if I switch over to another website uh, say this particular one that we have on the screen here let me ex expand this now I can choose to say go to this uh, full website all right so this gives us everything that we need we see the protocol here which is HTTP uh, S I can actually choose to see if some websites allow it so I can choose to go to HTTP but it redirects me to HTTPS all right and this is the domain that we're trying to use this is a fragment it tells me what place on that web page do I want to access not every web page allows this so let's say I wanted to go up to the section of two I can go and now it brings me to two so it can control what piece of the website or the web page you're actually accessing all right so that's the fragment anything after the hash mark all right and then the entire thing is a URI is basically a uniform resource identifier and what resource are we trying to access this is the resource and this is a fragment of that resource so all right so this gives you some idea if I was on YouTube uh, watching a video uh, here uh, my YouTube looks a little bit different because I have the 3 d Chrome extension which you can get uh, from Chrome uh, it gives me the ability to bookmark my videos uh, but assuming that uh, you're watching a YouTube video uh, you can actually see the query string so anything after this V is the query string all right not every YouTube video has this so if I wanted to uh, go to a specific uh, uh, part of this video let me actually go back here you can see I can access uh, YouTube let me copy this and go to YouTube now I uh, have updated the query string and that query string has the time so it's saying go to this video at this specific start time so this is uh, manipulating the query string uh, here for us and you have the ability to do that so just to recap in all of this we have the protocol we have the domain the port which is usually optional depending on the protocol you're using uh, we have the URN which is a resource name we have the resource itself we have the path we have the URL which is the location of that resource the name 
plus the location combined gives us an identifier, which is a URI, the resource identifier. Now, depending on the website you're working with, you can either have fragments or you can have query strings. Fragments is anything that starts with, an, uh, with a hashtag and the query string is anything that starts after the question mark. So hopefully this was helpful uh, for today's presentation. What is a URI? What is a URL? And what is a URN? So hopefully by now you should be able to look at any link and know what exactly you're looking at. All right. Thanks for watching. This is Fru. I really appreciate you joining to the end. Hopefully this was helpful. Like this video if you like it. Share it with somebody that might get value out of it. And I will see you in the next presentation.